Hello friends, this video on neat current electricity is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Look at question number 4. A, B and C are voltmeters of resistance R, 1.5 R and 3 R. So here A is a voltmeter of resistance R, B has resistance 1.5 R and C has resistance 3 R. When some potential difference is applied between X and Y, then the voltmeter readings are VA, VB and VC respectively. Then, so now we have to tell the relationship between the potential difference of A, B and C. Okay. So let us see the current distribution. So let us assume that current I is flowing through this uh, along this line. So as it reaches here, I1 will flow through B and I2 will flow through C. Right? So now let us first look at the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So here we can say that B and C, the resistances of B and C are in parallel combination. So therefore 1 by R parallel is equal to 1 by 1.5 R plus 1 by 3 R. This is equal to 2 plus 1 divided by 3 R or this is equal to 3 by 3 R. Therefore R parallel is equal to R. So R parallel is basically the equivalent resistance of B and C which is equal to R. So therefore knowing this we can reduce the circuit to this form. So here you have R which is A and then instead of drawing B and C you can just draw one resistance which is R parallel and this is point Y and this is point X. Simple right. So basically here also I1 plus I2 is equal to I. So now if current I flows through A, so this R is nothing but A. So if I flows through A, then the same I will also flow through R parallel because they are now in series. Right? You got my point, right? So first we calculate the equivalent resistance. So the equivalent resistance is R parallel, which is again R. So now the, if current I flows through R, then the same current will also flow through R parallel. Okay. So now let us look at the potentials at various points. So now the potential, what would be the potential at point A? So the potential at point A would be I into R. Perfect. Now what would be the potential across R parallel? Now here we can say that the potential across B and the potential across C would be same because B and C are in parallel. So VB will be equal to VC. That is something which we know. But what will be the value of this? So potential across B and potential across C would be the same. Correct. But what would be the value? That value would be I into R parallel. Right. And what is the value of R parallel? The value of R parallel is R. So this will also be equal to R. So basically we can say that VA is equal to VB is equal to VC. Correct. So therefore the correct option is A. So see one simple thing is there is another technique also which you can apply during exams. For example, instead of solving the entire thing, what you can do is just look at this diagram. So looking at this circuit diagram, you can see that B and C are in parallel, which means that potential difference across B and C would be same. So the options which says VB is not equal to VC, they get ruled out. So you get to know that C and D would not be the right option. So now you just have two choices, A or B. So now in order to decide between A and B, what you can quickly do is just quickly calculate the R parallel. The moment R parallel is equal to R, which is the same value as the first resistance, you get to know that option A would be the right option. So even without you know solving it in detail, you can choose the right option. But anyways, here I just wanted to help you to understand the concept. So uh, right now I would prefer you to solve the numericals in detail so that you know you get um, you know, more comfortable with the concepts. 
Yeah. So I think this was pretty clear. Now let's move on to question number five. Each resistor shown in the figure has a resistance of 10 ohms and the battery has an EMF of 6 volts. What will be the current supplied by the battery? So if when you talk about the overall circuit and in which you know the potential difference across the circuit which is given here, right, 6 volts. So in order to calculate the current through the circuit, you need to calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So that is going to be your first task. So how do you calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit? Just focus on this part of the circuit. So if you see this part, let, let's name this point as X and this point is anyways named as Y. So if you just look at this portion of the circuit, it is like a Wheatstone bridge. It is, it is as good as this arrangement. Because normally this is how the Wheatstone bridge looks like, right? But since it is present in this pattern, so many of us might not be able to recognize it. So this point is X and this point is Y. And these are all 10 ohms. So this is just like a Wheatstone bridge. Now if you look at this Wheatstone bridge, then P by Q is equal to R by S. That means the Wheatstone bridge is balanced. So this is not only a Wheatstone bridge, but a balanced Wheatstone bridge. And what happens in a balanced Wheatstone bridge? In a balanced Wheatstone bridge, there is no current which flows through this middle arm. That is, there is no deflection which is seen in the galvanometer present here, which shows that there will be no current flow across XY. So this means that no current through xy perfect so since there is no current flow through xy so we can very easily neglect this 10 ohm resistance so we can totally forget this 10 ohm resistance because this 10 ohm resistance is not taking part in the current flow right so it is basically not participating in this circuit so you can forget about this 10 ohm resistance so now it became very simple to calculate the equivalent resistance because these two resistances 10 ohm 10 ohm they are in series so these two taken together will be 20 ohms similarly 10 ohms 10 ohms these are again in series so so these two taken together will be 20 ohms again so now 20 ohms and 20 ohms they are in parallel so therefore 1 by r equivalent will be equal to 1 by 20 plus 1 by 20 so this is equal to 2 by 20. So 2 tens are 20. Therefore, you can say R equivalent of the circuit is equal to 10 ohm. So that is the equivalent resistance of the circuit. And if you look at the overall circuit, then the potential difference across the circuit is 6 volts. So now considering these two values, I will be equal to V by R, which is equal to 6 by 10. That is equal to 0 0.6 amperes. So A is the right option. Question number six. A metal plate weighing 750 grams is to be electroplated with 0.05% of its weight of silver. If a current of 0.8 ampere is used, find the time approximate needed for depositing the required weight of silver. ECE of silver is 11.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 kilogram per coulomb. So what is ECE? ECE is electrochemical equivalent. And what does this mean? This means the weight of a substance that is deposited or produced during electrolysis by passing a specified amount of electricity. So when you pass some specific amount of electricity, so for that amount of electricity, how much weight of that substance gets deposited on, on the electrodes. And it is measured in grams per coulomb or kilograms per coulomb. So that's electrochemical equivalent. Now electrochemical equivalent of silver is 11.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 kg per coulomb. So 
how do we normally calculate electrochemical equivalent so as i said by as per the definition it is the mass of the substance that is deposited per unit amount of electricity that means per unit amount of the charge which is passed through during electrolysis so charge can also be written as current into time because current is charge per unit time so charge can be written as current into time so ece is equal to m divided by it correct now in this question how much weight of silver is getting deposited so it says that a metal plate weighing 750 grams is to be electroplated with 0.05 percent of its weight of silver so that means how much weight of silver so the weight of silver is basically should be basically 0.05 percent of the weight of this plate right because it has to be electroplated with 0.05 percent of its weight that means 0.05 percent of 750 grams so this is 0.05 percent of 750 grams which is 0 0.05 by 100 into 750 this is equal to 0 0.375 grams so that means this need the metal plate needs to be electroplated with 0 0.375 grams of silver so this in terms of kgs can be written as 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg now electrochemical equivalent of silver is 11.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 kg per coulomb and the amount of current which is passed during electrolysis is 0 0.8 amperes so we have all these three values m ece and i so m is known ece is known and i is also known so we can very easily calculate the time taken so time taken will be equal to m divided by ece into I. So this is equal to 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 11.8 into 10 to the power minus 7 into 0 0.8. So this comes out to be 397.2 seconds which is approximately equal to 397 seconds that is equal to 6 minutes 37 seconds. So B is the right option. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.